Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase how to use the table view with Scene Builder and JavaFX using IntelliJ and Scene Builder, as mentioned. So, first of all, the table view is just a very simple view that kind of looks like an Excel document where we are able to create columns, which we in the code are able to add elements, which will be showcased in our rows. And our table view contains table columns and let's just change the name of our column so let's first maybe have a name and then we are gonna have a let's just go with age and maybe add another one and just call it animal i don't know it doesn't really matter at this point we just adding some random stuff and then i would go and give each of my table columns, the same ID as the name of my column. So I'm just going to call my name, column for name, H column, H, and animal column, animal. I'll save and well, let's also give the table view the ID of, let's just call it table in this case, just to make it very simple. I'll go into view, show sample control skeleton and copy all of my controller example into my controller. There we go. And let's actually just try running it to see it works. And there we go. So now what we actually need to do is tell the table view what we're going to be inputting into our table and what we're going to be inputting into our specific columns. So let's create a new object or a new class first which I am just going to call a user. And then for each user, we're going to match our attributes for the columns we just created. So I will also have a name, age, and animal column. So let's just have a private string name. A uh, private Let's see what we add, an eight. Let's make that an integer, int h, and a private string animal, which is just gonna be the animal type or name, doesn't really matter. And then I will add a constructor, and I'll use the simple shortcut of doing alt insert, where I can create a constructor containing all my attributes, and let's just also create some getters for each of my attributes. So now what we need to do is inside our controller first tell that our table need to contain users. We will have our name column containing user and strings. So first we're telling which object it's coming from and then what type it's going to be. And again with the age, again is the user, it's an int. And our animal is also from our user and that is a string. Then we are going to implement initializable, which allows us to implement initialize method and I actually made a mistake our tables columns actually don't take an integer we need to give it an integer because it is only taking an object where our integer is a, a simple variable we need to be complex types where we need to get the integer inside initialize we will then tell our our column, each column, what it's going to take from our objects we're going to be creating for the users. So we're going to have a name where we're going to set cell value factory where we will have a new property value factory taking in the object again at the type so we're going to have our user and our string and we're then gonna tell it specifically 
from our user which of our attributes will it be and it is going to be our name attribute and we're then going to do this for all of our columns so i'll just copy this and set it for our age as well where we then as well is going to use an integer instead of our string and it's of course going to be our age and our name is going to be our animal and we're going to change to the animal attribute so now let's just create some objects of our user and i'm going to put them inside an observable list because that's what our table view is going to take as an input so i would do observable list containing a user i'm just going to call it list and we're going to set it as a fx collections dot observable array list and i'm just going to give it some input so inside here our parentheses we can actually just create our new user so let's first give it a name daniel at an age of 20 and an animal of a dog which should also be a string and let's have another one We're gonna have Anna. She's gotta be 21. I'm gonna give her a cat. Let's make it consistent. And maybe add a last one. Which we are just gonna call Mark. Just add another random age to 22. And let's be a bit creative and give him the bird so now what we can very simply do is we can simply take our table dot set items and just simply give it a list so now if we run the program again because this is inside initialized so when we start our program we're going to set the constraints for our columns and we're then going to add our observable list where we added a few users and add them to our table so let's run the program and as you can see we now have a table view where we have our names our age and the animal and it's just simply the information we added inside our initialize or the properties we added and then some information we added inside of our observable list and just simply added it to our table so that's pretty much a very simple example of how we are able to create a table inside scene builder adding table columns giving them some ids defining under the id the object type we're going to be inputting and the object type is going to be containing and then simply setting some constraints using the property value factory the value factory again constraining that it is a user user object with the string information and then the name attribute from the user and that gives our program this pretty nice result so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful day